This is just a fun little sequence that you're going to need a brick for, or you can use a big book. You're going to need a little bit of wall space. So I'm going to put my brick down here to start off just so we can warm up the pelvis. Um, take yourself into some nice big circles with your pelvis, hands on hips to start off with. Make sure your toes are spread out and start to take some nice big full breaths. Making sure that your shoulders feel relaxed, they're away from your ears and your juices, your jaw is starting to release. Fabulous. Other direction with the pelvis. Maybe hands up and out, shoulders are down, squeeze the upper back muscles. Take some nice deep full breaths where you feel like you're breathing here underneath your armpits. Lovely. And then just dropping down into a goddess stance, hands down, breathing in and breathing out. Push the floor away as you come up and out. Just starting to warm up the legs a bit. Lovely. Now keep your bum behind you. Pull your bottom back and up to one side and pull your toes towards you. So one leg is bent, other leg is straight. Rub the inner thigh muscles here, these adductor muscles. Spread those toes out, squeeze your toes, spread them out, squeeze them, spread them out. Roll your hips to the other side, pull your toes back, squeeze your toes, pull them back. Squeeze your toes, pull them back, rub the inner thigh. Good, and then just do some inline skating so it feels like you're kind of swishing from one side to the other. Getting right into those hamstrings, inner thighs, and opening up the back of the pelvis. And then pause here, just drop the shoulders one shoulder at a time, rinsing the upper back, breathing out as you drop one shoulder, looking up over the other shoulder. Beautiful, roll yourself up, give yourself a shake, and then come over to your bit of wall space. So we're gonna start off in warrior two. So you wanna have your feet quite wide here. Front toes going directly forward, back toes in 45 degrees. Legs straight to start off with, arms up, shoulders are down, drop into the front knee. So you don't wanna be here, you don't wanna be here, you want your torso to be banging in the middle of your legs. So turn the palm of the front hand and then lift yourself up into archer pose, straighten that front leg for a moment and then drop yourself into arch, so side angle like this. And so you're lifting and then pausing and then lifting and then pausing, side angle. Now fingertips, have a little go, see if you can reach back. If you're close enough to the wall, you might be able to open the side of your body, stretch your pectoral muscles as well. Good, pushing down and out with your back foot. And then, ah, foot down. You can always use your brick as well. Come a little bit lower with this by using your brick. And elbow pushes your knee back slightly. And you might try side angle like this, maybe even binding hand behind you, like so. Beautiful. So we're going to come into a balance now. First of all, pull yourself back slightly and then take your brick and use it. Pop your back foot forward, uh, forward a bit. Take your brick onto the little toe edge close to the wall. And you might have it flat, you might have it sideways, you might have it high to start off with. Now you pull yourself forward all the way in that standing leg. And then you push the floor away and you lift your back leg off the ground. And then, hopefully, if you're close enough to the wall, you can touch your foot onto the wall for stability and you can turn yourself around. You can top, take your top hand onto the wall for stability too. And this is half moon. Maybe even take my hand above you. This is a really good all over spine stretch. Strengthens the standing leg, opens the pelvis. Ah, you're going to find you feel really tall after doing this. Make sure you're not locking into your standing leg though. Slight micro bend behind the knee. Bend the knee as soon as you need to. You look down at the ground, you take yourself into a little squat like so, and you roll yourself up. And just notice how good that side feels. So the other side here, I'm going to take my brick down. Make sure your mat is close enough to the wall. So starting off warrior two, stretching the mat, mat out between your legs, arms out, shoulders are down, just pausing here. This is one of those wonderful sort of strengthening, energizing poses. So 
our legs are strong, our feet are strong, we're grounded down below, but above we're very sort of tranquil. We've got this grace of just softness. And then turn the palm and then lift yourself up into archer and then float into side angle. Just so we prepare the legs, inhaling and exhaling. Doing this a couple of times. Inhaling and then pausing here. So you might use the wall, you might grab your brick. Pausing in side angle, maybe binding. If you're close enough to the wall, you can kind of use it to stabilize you. Good, so when you're ready, we're gonna to come to the balance. I'm just gonna pull this front, this front foot back a little bit so I stay in frame. So what you wanna do is kind of hop forward so your back toes are just on the ground. You can feel the weight in this front leg, thigh muscles are working. Hand on brick and it's out to the little toe edge close to the wall. And then we just kind of push the floor away with that standing leg, lift the back leg. And if you've got a wall here, it's a lot easier. So you're just gonna touch the wall with your fingers and with your foot. And there we go. And then maybe take fingers and foot off the wall if your balance feels okay. And look at that, I've got a wall here too, so I can stretch fingers onto wall and really stretch the spine, it feels so nice. And you want to keep breathing, don't stop breathing. And after five breaths, might be one breath, maximum about 10 breaths. We want to just slowly come down. So you want to lift up today, bend the knee, drop yourself down into a squat here, and then roll your way up. And just see how tall you feel. Come into a Tadasana for a moment. Ah. <sighs> Feel the tingling sensation underneath the skin surface of the whole body. Feel your feet plugged down into your mat. And just stand in full alignment, feeling the length of your spine, feeling how strong you feel, strong and long. So give that little sequence a go. Namaste.